One woman, one vision, walking the path of success with you. Elizabeth Horman is the founder and CEO of Horman Business Solutions Kenya. Elizabeth employs her signature style, a combination of high energy levels, a willingness to reinvent, redefine, and redesign an enviable presence of mind to impart the most difficult lessons in the most palatable form. Her experience of over a decade has been enriched by conducting several sessions, covering all ranks and positions of a corporate hierarchy, which makes her a preferred choice for various interventions. She specializes in conducting sessions on motivation and team building for cross-cultural leadership teams and is at home while interacting and involving high-profile individuals from across the world. Elizabeth Horlman is the most experienced Kenyan-German motivational speaker and also a keynote speaker offering corporate leadership training programs, communication training, and team building training programs. Today I would like us to look at personal branding and why it is important for your business. When it comes to client acquisition, one of the most important foundational strategies you can establish is that of your personal branding. There are a lot of strategies out there that are being used to develop business and obviously making space for personal branding strategies is an essential priority as it ensures sustainability when it comes to successful client acquisition. Branding is different from marketing in that it quickly impacts on how a prospective client perceives you at the moment they become aware of you. It is literally that first and lasting impression that snaps them out of the fog, gets their attention and reignites over the long haul. Branding also inspects how you, how your clients and other influencers in the market place describe you to others when opportunity presents itself. In other words, marketing is what you say, branding is what they hear. My name is Elizabeth Holloman, founder and CEO of Holloman Business Solutions and ICPE Africa in Germany. I'd like to emphasize the importance of branding in your business. This is a proven concept which has been drawn from a one-to-one -one coaching program used by several of my clients. My coaching aim to ensure that you are perceived as an expert and described as a professional with a progress. And that is really my main point. Irrespective of what your business is, my coaching will help show you how to combine both your expertise and professionalism for the success of your business. Let us look at salespeople. Now salespeople, they sell, whereas consultants are considered to provide process and solutions. How would you describe a financial advisor? Most of you will associate a financial advisor as a broker asking you to buy investment products whereas it is, as a consultant will be asking you to buy into a process on a long-term relationship. That is their expectation and you cannot feed that. You have to differentiate using effective messaging in all your verbal, printed and multimedia communications. Furthermore, it is becoming increasingly difficult to stand above the crowd because of the ever-increasing competition in the market. Along with, the, with that, there are forces that work that prompt people to focus on what you cost rather than what you are worth. Of course, prices are only an issue in the absence of a clearly defined and relevant value of branding strategy which helps people to focus on your unique value. In addition to standing out, your goal should be to get people's attention and be memorable. 
the tremendous amount of voices that your client is being exposed to is overwhelming. There is a natural amount of intake that your client is able to handle. Your aim should be to get your client to switch off those loud sounds and to, and to be subjected only to the tune of your message. So you make them switch off to that and just tune to you. That is how branding helps you to achieve this while ensuring you're able to perceive as an expert rather than be perceived as a salesperson. One of the most powerful steps that you can take to assess your current branding efforts is to make clients the voice you listen to. In your next wave of quality calls to your best clients, tell them you are striving to raise the bars in terms of service you provide and ask them this one question. What is it? What is the one thing you value about our relationship? Their answer to you will be revealing and is probably similar to the answer they give to a friend when asked this question. Are you happy with, this, with your current service provider? You can go further and the next time you get a referral from your client or partner, call them back and thank them for the introduction and ask them this question. How did you describe me? What did you say if you don't mind my asking? The bottom line is you want to know where you stand and there is no known better person than your client who will tell you this. You are not marketing yourself, but instead you want to learn more about what revolves around your client. In addition, you want to ensure that your clients are not asking blank, interchangeable descriptions that are easy to dismiss. It is not terrible if a client tells a friend, my supplier is a great guy and he really knows his stuff. It is not terrible if your strategic partner endorses you to a client. I know Elizabeth, who is an expert and extremely knowledgeable in the matter. And the next move is that they hand over your contact information. Please keep in mind that your branding message does not talk about who you are or what you do in the traditional sense. It must address what the client or prospective client really wants, the unmet need, or there's something missing in their current approach. It must address a problem or a fear they are currently having. Your personal branding must be catchy, unique, and elevate your professionalism. Thanks for watching and feel free to visit my blog at elizabethholloman.com to learn more about my content and my consulting program. Thank you very much.